Welcome to K-Pop Zone, where we serve the spiciest tea straight from the cup pedal. Today, we're stirring the pot of K-Pop controversy. Ever thought G-Idol Shu Hua was just being quirky? Or N Nick Haewon was innocently playful? Think again, and let's not even start on the boys. In the world of K-Pop, where every wink and wave is dissected, some idols seem to have taken a masterclass in how to raise eyebrows 101 Hey one, but hey, it's all in good fun. Or is it? Dive into today's K-Pop news and, and share your opinions as we unravel the punchlines that punched back. <laughs> What do all these moments have in common? A joke that went too far. In the glitzy world of K-pop, idols often project a spotless image. But what happens when they let their guard down for a dirty joke that most people believe are too much? Dive in as we uncover the unexpected humor that's left these idols drowning in criticism. One Shuhua G idol. Picture this. Shuhua, our ever-candid idol, steps into the limelight on work. Dull on workmen. She's there to roll up her sleeves and get down to business as a shop assistant. But it, as fate would have it, she runs into a little hiccup that throws her for a loop. <laughs> you see how after stumbling on a rather unexpected detail, Shuhua not only blurted out, but also showed the cameraman an upfront view of the private part on the mannequin's body. The internet, as you can imagine, went bananas. Fans were left picking their jaws up off the floor, with many wearing their hearts on their sleeves, expressing everything from amusement to sheer disbelief. The burning question on everyone's lips? How on earth did Shuhua debut? It seemed like she truly let the cat out of the bag this time. But hold your horse as some eagle-eyed fans were quick to jump to her defense. They pointed out that Shuhua was a fish out of water, being shy about dressing male mannequins. In the episode, Shuhua's job was to get change for the mannequins and seeing that they were all males. She was so shy that she asked for the shop owner's help several times. However, he insisted on her doing it, so she reluctantly took off the pants and got even more shook for not expecting a male mannequin to resemble so much of a human body. And if you read between the lines, the episode subtitles suggest she was more in shock than anything, exclaiming, There is something here. Yet, for some, this was the straw that broke the camel's back, adding to a growing list of Shuhua's public slip-ups. So, even if fans said she was just shook and her words were taken out of context, it was still hard to believe considering her notorious history. So, where do you stand? Was this just Shuhua being her genuine self, or did she cross a line? Weigh in with your thoughts in the comments below. And if this story tickled your fancy, don't forget to smash that like button. 2. K1 in mix. If you thought the Shuhua incident was a one-off, Brace yourselves, we're diving deeper into the world of K-pop, and it seems like in mix, K1 is giving Shuhua a run for her money. Imagine being at a fan meeting, a place where idols usually radiate their pristine aura, but you, you can see a K1 ever the Maverick had other plans. She stumbled upon a fox plushie. The one with a tail seeming, let's just say, a tad suggestive. Before diving into her playful antics, Haewon craftily turned her back to the fans. To shield them from the cheeky joke, but unfortunately, another angle of the stage still exposed her joke. Of course, it's impossible to tell what exactly happened, but Sol Yoon and Lily's wide-eyed expressions hinted them to caught the naughty nuance. And as you can expect, what happens in a fan meeting doesn't stay in a fan meeting. The clip went viral faster than you can say K-pop, while international fans mostly found the humor and rally behind Haewon closer to home, the reception was chillier. K-nets and V-nets weren't amused. Their argument? As you can see, the op clearly stated that Menik Fate had demanded the scheme to be deleted from the original fancom and in Vietnam, under a post with over three fork likes. People were triggered by Haewon's action.
Vinet believed anyone justifying Haewon's action by saying she was just an ordinary person was biased. True, idols are humans too, but they are not ordinary humans. They are who make money off the public love and recognition, the hard work of many staff members behind the scene. And that is not to mention the wide range of privileges in public. Overall, they have to live up to the rigorous standards, but the results are usually many times greater than the efforts if they play the game well. So with such entitlement, they must be held accountable for all actions that weren't right according to the general standards. To the extent of being as objective as possible, Vnets agreed with fans' argument that all the members involved were above 18. And it was normal for them to know about sensual things, but as idols who are role models for many young fans, K1 should have known better where the suitable place was to pull such Ensvavu jokes. Eventually, it was a fan meeting, a public place, not a random room in Mix's dorm or a private space with only the members. But here's the kicker. This isn't the first time Haewon has dabbled in daring humor. Riding on the waves of the previous incident, Venus, with their detective hats on, unearthed a couple more instances that put Haewon in the spotlight. And guess what? The trio, Haewon, Salyun, and Lily, seem to share quite the camaraderie when it comes to these playful antics. Let's rewind a bit to the second incident. During the filming of Party O'Clock, Ha Won, seated lower than Sel Yoon, suddenly turned to the camera with a mischievous glint in her eyes. And then, in a bold move, she jokingly slid her hands under Sel Yoon's skirt. v also dug up a third video about her allegedly sensitive joke. By suddenly leaning back, doing a suggestive body wave, and leaving Sel Yoon and Lily in utter disbelief, Haewon raised quite a few eyebrows for the implicit meaning behind her movie. v reactions? Well, the comments section was ablaze. While some initially found Haewon's antics endearing, the escalating boldness of her jokes has shifted their perspective. They now view her as a leader with perhaps a lower emotional quotient. Sure, she is an adult and can indulge in adult humor, but there's a time and place for everything. Public events where idols are expected to maintain a pristine image might not be it. This sentiment is further emphasized when we look at idols like Won Young, who's been walking the tightrope meticulously, ensuring she maintains a spotless image, not just for herself, but for her young fans and the luxury brands she represents. 3. Sun, Wu, and Sang Yeon the Boys A seemingly innocent video call with a Japanese fan during a fan sign event took a controversial turn, leaving the fandom and netizens divided. Here's the scoop. The fan, clad in pajamas, playfully quizzed Sunwoo, why do you think I'm wearing PJs today? Can you guess? Sunwoo, perhaps trying to match the fan's playful tone, began to respond with, yes, you and I, but before he could complete his thought, the fan, catching onto the implication, interjected with a mix of surprise and laughter. Sleep together? No. The clip quickly made its rounds online, and the reactions were polarized. Many Korean netizens were taken aback. Finding Sunwoo's insinuation inappropriate, especially during a fame sign event. The underlying sentiment? Disbelief. How could Sunwoo broach such a delicate topic so casually? And did this reveal an underlying assumption that fans would be open to such intimate suggestions? However, every story has two sides. A significant portion of the international fan base came to Sunwoo's defense. While they acknowledged Sunwoo's flirty undertone, they believed it wasn't intended as harassment. Some even argued that the original question was a tad awkward and Sunwoo might have been trying to navigate the situation with humor. Additionally, the language barrier between Japanese and Korean could have played a role. Sunwoo seemed to be searching for the right words, and it was the fan who jumped to the sleep together conclusion, not Sunwoo. As the dust from the previous controversies had barely settled, the boys found themselves back in the spotlight. But for all the wrong reasons done by Sang Yeon, can you spot the controversial thing here? Assumed to have been made about the choreography of one member on his knees and another walking toward the kneeled member, the comment is accused of sounding like Sakasi. A lesser known Korean slang to mean oral sex derived from a Japanese end, blown flute instrument, shakuhachi. The timing of his comment, synchronized with a specific choreography move, left little to the imagination about its implications. The internet was abuzz with reactions.
Some netizens already familiar with the boys' history of controversies weren't even surprised. They clicked on the trending topic, already bracing themselves for another scandal. Others, however, were genuinely taken aback questioning Sangyeon's audacity to make such a remark. Especially with cameras rolling and staff members present, the overarching sentiment was one of disbelief. How could he, especially in such a public setting? Amidst the sea of criticism, a few tried to piece together the context, hoping to find an innocent explanation. But the majority were not so forgiving. Comments flooded in, ranging from shock to disappointment, with some even expressing sympathy for the group's fans. After all, being a fan of the boys seemed to be an emotional roller coaster, with the group's talent often overshadowed by their controversies. As the storm of controversy continued to rage, Sangyeon decided it was time to clear the air. On Bubble, he addressed the elephant in the room, acknowledging the growing concerns and wanted to set the record straight. Contrary to the buzz, he hadn't uttered the controversial term that had everyone talking. He had initially chosen to stay silent, hoping the misunderstandings would fade away. But with the boys' much-anticipated comeback on the horizon, he felt it was crucial to refocus on what truly mattered, the music and the fans. Sang Yen expressed his regret for the distress the incident had caused and reassured fans that his attention was now firmly on their upcoming return. Sang Yen's clarification sheds a new perspective on the situation. But now, we turn the spotlight to you, our viewers. If there was a K-pop controversy Olympics, which idol do you think would take home the gold for their audacious humor? And hey, if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of K-pop controversies, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more juicy content only on K-pop Zone, and see you soon.